How's it going? Welcome back to Life is Strange True Colors. Okay, so I guess it didn't save me talking to Steph or anything like that. Which is weird, because when I made the choice about the monster for the LARP, it, like, did the... I mean, you can't see it because of my webcam, but, like, it did the sound and, like, the lantern of, like, ooh, important choice. Um, so I had to redo that and, you know, talk into the hoodie guy and all that and the lost dog and stuff. Um, and I paused it because Steph just said something. I'm pretty sure we heard it already in the last episode. Her doing her radio thing, but I don't know if she was going to talk more. The Spring Festival is just around the corner. Yep, sponsored there it by is. Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. Ha. <laughs> okay, uh, she said to look oh. at her comp book. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Mm -hmm. The bard name. Alex, oh, filling your character. Race, half elf, class bard, abilities, distortion field of healing, serenade, level one, health points ten. How did you meet Thanor? Okay. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. Alto or Alexandra? Ooh. I think I like Alexandra. There's beauty and simplicity. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but oh, distortion healing field serenade or could healing really come serenade. handy. I thought it said of, but or. Distortion field, here at healing serenade. Uh. Serenade sounds well. Bard is like musicy, right? And healing serenade. Serenade seems more like a healing or a, a song e ability. Distortion field. Yeah, I'm gonna go with healing serenade. That sounds more musicy. Healing serenade. It is. How did I meet Thanor? And plus, it's good to have a uh, heroic story or funny story. <laughs> a heroic story doesn't really fit us. Uh, it doesn't really fit a bard character either. Uh, funny story. A wolf and an ogre walk oh, wow, into a just, bar. Bah. Uh, that just oh, freaking flashed into existence. This LARP thing just might work. Well, hold on now. I want to read what she wrote for her story. Give me a second. Thanor and I will make a great team. Let me read that. A wolf and an ogre walk into a bar there. I was re regaling patrons with the ballad of the monster slayer, Thanor. Little did I know the wolf's cousin had lost its life to Thanor. The vengeful beast jumped me, pinning me against the stage. Just as all hope seemed lost, Thanor arrived. He took my loot and swung in at the wolf. The wolf opened his big gullet, swallowing the instrument in one gulp. Luckily, the loot caused the wolf great indigestion. It stalked away tail between his legs, and then it was saved. Ha ha ha. That's cute. Okay, um... Well... I did that. Do I, like, re-talk to Steph, I'm assuming? No. I just did that. It's sweet. She's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. Okay, well, I don't need to relook at everything because I technically already looked at it all. <sighs> Even though it didn't save any of it, but none of it really matters. Okay. Now that that's done, the last thing is. <sighs> talking to Mac, or more specifically, I guess. Yeah, investigate the flower shop. Uh, okay, there's no new anything. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Be never mind, I spoke too soon. Uh, hmm, I wonder what Steph's working on. It looks cool. I should DM her to find out more and see how I can help. <laughs> the picture storm right there. This, po this doesn't happen to have anything to do with your last post, does it? Shoot, if only there was some way to find out. Alright, fine, I'll bite. Whatever it is, it looks like it's gonna be shocking. You hush. <laughs> I know the secrets. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, new message from Steph. Uh, okay. Hey, so we did with the LARP. Thank you so much. Of course, I think Ethan's gonna love it. Aw. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, where is the flower shop even? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Um, well, let me explore everything else around here before I. How far will I go? I don't get I it. Wonder. Nothing says festive like three exclamation points. Okay, that's the same as before. Just not want ice cream anymore. I looked over the budget. Oh, I if we only open three days, we have to keep up a brave face for Angela. She loves our store so much. He must be exhausted. We're losing our business, but it's like everything's a joke to him. She must feel so alone. Hope they figure it out. Aww. How far into like Haven can I go? Or will it like stop me as soon as I try harder. to cross the street? It's surprisingly addictive. You haven't been putting. Oh, oh it's not even trying to stop me. It's just like an invisible. It's just like an invisible wall. Get truth from Mac now. Uh, Sightsee later. Yep, there it is. Anyway, okay. I took out a radio ad too. That'll help. And I'm assuming it'll say the same thing if Still I try to go over that. here. Jed suggested I check the flower shop. But what if I didn't? You Nothing buy your you guys? I can go all the way around here. But I bet you it'll kick me out here. I don't know, it just straight up blocks me out with these things, huh? Invisible wall with compost? Flower compost, it looks like. I can go back here, but there's nothing to examine here, it seems. Okay, I'm gonna walk by the flower shop again. He's gonna repeat the same thing like I did with the frickin' dispensary. But I don't believe there's anything else to examine. Oh, the camera got wonky for a second there. This town's gonna make Record a store. Trust right, me. I literally was sitting there. Bench girl. Oh. It's that guy's sister. I feel so bad for her. Getting sick of people feeling bad for me. Yeah, I figured you would. Okay, yep. Yeah, warning we already look like. And looked at because it's literally right by the dispensary and the bald guy I remember you your aura was just angry screaming I do not want to experience that again thank you that's new I have to imagine Gabe would be amused to know he made it in the newspaper hmm. investigation into accidental death ongoing Haven's upcoming council you need to know documenting is that huh okay um there is officially nothing left to explore slash examine. So I can stall no longer. Unfortunately. So wait, is Matt gonna be in there? Or, like, am I gonna talk to Riley? Or, it said investigate the flower shop and interrogate Mac. Did I call him Matt? I meant Mac. Uh, well, um, I think Eleanor is her name. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? And then, almost gave the poor woman a heart attack, I guess. Oh. I'm, um... Adjusting. Yeah, that's appropriate. Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> okay, cool. Great conversation. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. Does he, like, work <laughs> Got here? It. Or... Thanks. Okay. Well, no, oops, I... Hmm. Uh... She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Well, she said, what was I? D is she trying to remember what she was... doing? Okay, this isn't suspicious at all. Going back and looking. Oh, I don't need to focus. Oh, it's, it's just that strong. It's just there. Yeah, way to hold your hand out, non-suspiciously. Uh... 
Okay. It seems I'm getting better control of it okay. by doing this. Time to figure out why she's afraid. All my memories, All my memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. she's like she's losing all her memories because she's getting older or something like that uh oh over here the doctor said the doctor i had, said more, I time, had more time but everything, everything is becoming, is becoming so, so out of, out of order, order. Sign. If they know if they about, my, about condition, my condition, they'll make me close, this, me place. close this place. Oh, she's getting sick. Ish, or... Uh, um... I can't think of the proper name for it. Not, not dyslexia, that's, that's not... Um... It's a disease you get when you're older, when you start forgetting things. I'm sure they'll spell that out for me, but I can't think of what it's called. Um, is there anything else? I picked out three things already, maybe back here? Oh yeah, there we go. Thank you, dear. We'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. Oh wow, there's a lot of things here. If Riley, if Riley finds, finds out, out. She, can't she can't find out. Find out. Oh, dementia. Isn't that what it is? When people get older and they Holy shit. forget stuff. Oh my god. Okay, that's new. Okay, that's real new. Holy shit. Oh, wow. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Uh Do I re-look at the aura things? Help, okay. Forget what you were working on? <sighs> could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Retrace your steps, ask Riley, think harder, focus on something else. Uh, okay, hold on. I don't know how long they'll let me- well, I'm assuming it doesn't have a time limit. Focus on something else? Okay. Not ask Riley, because she- the whole thing was like, uh, Riley can't find out. Retrace your steps, think harder. Yeah, thinking harder will do it. Uh, focus on something else or retrace your steps. Mm. I think either retrace your steps or focus on something else. I'm gonna go with focus on something else because sometimes when I forget things I do something else and then when my mind like isn't focusing on it then it's like oh right that's what it was or whatever um I mean retrace your steps is a basic one I'm gonna go with focus on something else you could focus on something else for a bit and see if it comes back I suppose but I can't help feeling like it was something important. Okay, well... Whatever it was. I guess it's just a me thing. Uh... 
Okay, it lets you pick multiple things. Okay, wow. So when it came to like Ethan's multiple choices, I get, I guess I just got lucky, or maybe it was different because there was like life threatening. I don't know. Uh, retrace your steps. Maybe it that seems is like the option. you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I don't want to keep you. Hey, I, I want to help. <laughs> okay, what would Eleanor have done first? the shop probably you must have flipped the sign to open I always flip it first thing when I come in and then I open my mail Ugh. something must have distracted me better we can okay do this. this is interesting very interesting let's see Okay. So she felt the sign open, and then she checked her mail. Something must have distracted her. I bet it was that phone call. But if I go into the back here... Phone, maybe? Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Okay, that's fixed. Got it. Uh, well, the only other ones is the flowers, the register, and then the picture of Riley. So, maybe it was Riley that called. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Goodness, what was the order for? I bet it was for those flowers. Okay, Riley's photo is fixed. Good, good. The order was for the flowers, I bet. Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. Oh yeah, rush order paid with check. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. Okay, they're fixed. And I bet if you look at the register, then you can tell, right? Now let me go to the this side of it. Maybe it'll say on the register or something. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh? Hmm. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. Jed or interesting. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. There we go. Yay! I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Aww. It's sweet. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. <coughs> God. She doesn't remember. Yeah, funny about that. Tell her about Gabe or spare her the pain. I feel like if I don't tell her, then she'll hear about it from someone else eventually. And then she'll be like, oh, well, 
uh, Alex's gay sister, right? Like, wh why why didn't you tell me? It's the same situation with like with with Ethan, right? Like, why didn't you tell me he was going out to the mines? Um, I'm gonna tell her the truth, but you know what? I'm gonna do it in the next episode. Ah, cliffhanger. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.